All right, so the second objective is to discuss areas that are out of alignment. And so the exercise re related to this objective is the values writing activity. And so what this requires us to do is now that we have kind of in general described our values in each of the 12 domains, the next step is to choose those value domains in which there is the largest discrepancy or in which you want to place the place more emphasis or more effort. So as behavioral scientists, we all know that, um, you know, in order to get from point A to point Z, we can't just make a giant leap. We have to take small, gradual, systematic steps to reach that goal. And we also can't expect ourselves to do so many hard things all at one time um, because we, we don't have the capacity. We don't have the resources to do that. So in order to be the most effective and be the most efficient in our lives, it's important to look at the big picture values and then narrow down which ones are in this moment the most important, the most valuable, need the most work, need, you need to get more in alignment with because there are areas in your life that you're going to be like, hey, I'm good. I, you know, I feel, you know, I'm on top of my game in my um, marriage and my social relationships, but these, there are maybe, you know, three or four areas that you're out of alignment or could really use some specific um, direction and guidance in. And so for myself, the four areas that I chose were our friendship and social life, recreation and fun, citizenship and community, and art and creativity. Because as I was thinking about and writing about these value areas, those were the those were the four areas where I feel most out of alignment and one but ones that are of high value um, you know I care a lot about these areas but it, when you actually would when you actually looked at my um, words and actions on a day-to-day -day basis it wouldn't it wouldn't have seen seemed as though those things were of value to me because that's not where I was spending my time and energy and resources. And so the values writing um, you know, asks us to write about what we care about um, in those areas, uh, reflect or um, think about what things you could do that would reflect your caring in that area. Identify times in your life where, when those, when that value area has been important to you. Um, identify times or people in your life who you have seen demonstrate behaviors relate that um, exhibit that they value this area and kind of what that has looked like for them. Um, identify specific things that you could do to manifest this value in your life. And then think about times in which you have violated this value. Um, and then lastly, identify specific qualities and actions that, um, that, you could that you want to embody. So qualities that you want to embody and actions that you want to take that will um, lead you in the direction of this value area and will kind of lead you towards it. you're using those guideposts to guide your actions um so the in for me when it comes to friends and social life what i really care about is developing deep meaningful reciprocal relationships that um, that are long lasting, and um, and so the things that I feel that I could do, which would reflect this, 
would be to um, show up. Uh, you know, when somebody invites me somewhere, actually go. Um, invite people to do things and and follow through on that. Um, uh, re- when I'm actually with people engaging in active, um, active listening, active conversation skills, remember things about people, talk to people about the things that they care about. Um, really know, you know, know the things that people value and, um, and show that, you know, or show that I know by, um, you know, doing things related to, related to the things that they care about. In my life, friendship and social life was really important to me um, in my, you know, schooling years and even up into my early adulthood. Um, But once I started to, uh, once I started into college and I was really focused on my professional development, my career development, I let friendships go. Um, And I didn't have very strong friendships up to that point and I really didn't feel as though friendships held any value for me and so I didn't put any emphasis in them. Um, What I have seen in other people though that uh, that I could clearly see that they had strong relationships and they valued those areas I you know see people giving gifts or going on girls only vacations and spending time together and um, you know talking um, talking for hours and playing games and remembering specific details and you know bringing those up and asking questions and so you know these are these are kind of these are things that I've seen in my life that I have wanted to embody and that I've wanted to imitate, but really haven't been able to do. And so when I was thinking about how I might go about um, manifesting this in my life, I really had a hard time thinking about, you know, specific friends that I want to develop stronger relationships with and steps that I could take based on what I already know about them and the things that we've already done. And so one of the, one of the strategies that I came up with and things that I, you know, thing that I want to do to more deeply engage in my social relationships is to actually um, create like a friend file for each of the people that I want to develop stronger relationships with, which would include, you know, what, you know, the things that they like and the things that they care about and things that we could do together and, you know, brainstorm ideas around specific individuals because I want to tailor my effort to specifically to individuals rather than what I have done in the past, which is kind of apply you know, basic friendship rules to everybody in my life, but which has led to much more shallow and insignificant relationships. Um, in, in my life, I feel as though I've got, I have um, violated this value in many ways and in many times because, you know, I would say that I value friends and I want to develop social relationships, but wouldn't, you know, would very rarely take any action that would demonstrate that. Um, And so, you know, so my commitment to myself is to, um, you know, be a, you know, be a better friend, be more engaged, show up, uh, get involved, reach out, communicate, listen, um, and, and connect on a deeper level. And the actions that I'm willing to take in, rela- in relation to that are um, first brainstorming ideas around individual people, things that I can do and do with and for them, um, and then make a plan, uh, you know, and commit to an action plan, which includes doing, you know, doing things with and for each of my each of my 
you know, friends that I want to develop more really, you know, stronger, deeper relationships with on a regular basis and actually plan for it. Um, because if you don't have a plan, it makes things more difficult to accomplish. Um, in regard to recreation and uh, fun, um, I care a lot about um, nature and the business that we're trying, that we're working to develop here on the island is going to be all about outdoor adventures. And so it, there is no time like the present to start really committing to action in regard to this value. So, you know, being able to uh, go camping and fishing and mountain biking and kayaking and get, you know, going outdoors um, and uh, gather, you know, harvesting natural resources during the times when they come available and learning how to utilize those to, so I can live more, you know, live more closely to nature and live off the land. Those are things that I really value um, and things that I could do to reflect my caring in this area. As I mentioned, this was, you know, my recreation and fun was really, really important to me in my high school and early college years. But as soon as I got down, got into the, you know, hardcore um, point in my uh, academic career, there was no time. There was no time. There was no money. There was, I didn't, I was not able to invest any resources into this, you know, the areas of recreation and fun. Um, and so that, you know, that has been, that was really hard for me and where, you know, I started, I felt very disconnected and, and disjointed, um, from those things. Um, I've seen, you know, I have a lot of people in my life for whom recreation and fun is a high priority and you can tell they're always going on adventures. They're always outside. They're always doing something. They're, you know, connecting with themselves or connecting with others they're, you know, laughing and enjoying and, you know, doing all of these really cool things and having all these really cool experiences and, you know, avail themselves and open themselves up to other, you know, other adventures just by nature of being in the right place at the right time. And so, you know, my thoughts regarding how I can manifest this in my own life and really embody this value of recreation and fun is to do it. <laughs> you know, I have friends on the island who, you know, every Sunday they are scheduling an outing somewhere around the island. Um, you know, there's, there are opportunities just right outside my door to, um, you know, go for a hikes or go down to the beach. And, um, you know, spring is coming up, March starts our harvest season. And so every month there's going to be, you know, there is an opportunity for me to go outside and get in touch with nature and get in touch with this value. Um, but it takes a commitment to do it. So the, you know, commitment that I can make is to every month um, commit to doing one thing just by myself for myself, one thing with my husband for us as a couple, and one thing with a, a friend or a group of friends to be outside. Um, I have frequently violated this, uh, this value in my life because it wasn't something that I gave myself permission to do. Uh, I didn't, you know, because it's, you know, it's recreation and fun and because I was so focused on my career, um, it was hard to get away. It was hard to pull myself away and invest my time and my energy into things that I, you know, that I perceived that others would perceive as a waste of my time um, without really, without regard to the importance of uh, letting go and getting away from work and having more balance in, in my life. So the qualities that I want to embody are, you know, getting, getting outside, being with others, getting in touch with myself and what I care about, um, 
developing an understanding of what is available on this island. So when we do come to the point where we're bringing guests up to, um, you know, to our wellness retreat, we'll have a large variety of offerings for people and experiences to, um, to help to give people as they come up here and are visiting. Um, in, re in regard to uh, citizenship and community, I really, uh, again, it wasn't really until I moved up to Alaska and was in, immersed in a community that is just so significantly impacted by economic insecurity, substance abuse, domestic abuse, um, poor education, and uh, you know all of these uh, very like inter you know intergenerational systemic issues, um, and so because I now in, live in this environment and immersed in it, and I'm surrounded by you know people who have just you know chronic issues with uh, these things in their lives. It has made me even more passionate about finding ways to have a positive impact on the community, the members of the community, to help them find more peace, love, and joy in their lives, and you know, find a way to back, you know, to a path that is going to lead them to a life that is where they can be more healthy, more happy, and more productive as individuals. Um, and as community members themselves. Um, this hasn't always been important to me. I didn't really realize what I was missing out on. I was you know, a very lonely person and stuck to myself and stuck to my own ambitions and didn't really make myself a part of any community. Um, and which, you know, looking back on that, it or has been is sad to think about, but it makes me very hopeful for my future. Um, I've seen others who have really, you know, dedicated their lives to the value of citizenship and community life. And I see them as people who are, you know, they're the movers and the shakers in the world. They're the ones that are, you know, they're identifying issues in the community. They're, you know, they're working with teams, they're helping on projects, they're, you know, they're, um, you know, taking part, taking an active role in helping um, the, the whole, the group, solve a shared problem. And, you know, they're seen as like, as the leaders and the change agents in their, in their communities. And that's who I wanna be. I, you know, again, this is, I've said from the time I began into my career that I am a change agent, I wanna be a change agent, but wasn't necessarily engaging in behaviors to demonstrate that. Um, and so, you know, those are the things that I want to do. I want to manifest this more by being more involved in um, our local chamber of commerce to help our business and community development. I want to be more involved in the school to help with um, educational development and, um, you know, positively impacting the mental health and well being of the teens on this island um, who, for whom the data show that there is a high rate of uh, depression and substance abuse. Um, and so, oh, and then also within um, the recovery community, so the um, local church in our community is Oh, is going to be opening up a recovery center for women uh, who women who ha who are in recovery from substance abuse and domestic abuse issues, um, and so I want to be involved in that organization and those projects and those programs um, to use what I know and um, support their support their goals. Um, so the qualities and actions that I want to bring into this area are a, you know, are a kind, caring, compassionate heart that is, you know, bring in my courage, my willingness to stand up and speak up, 
um, in the face of challenges and adversity and to help others develop skills so they too can you know, have the strength to stand up and speak up when needed. Um, and because that's really, you know, it's really important to me that I really truly feel that that's the only way that we're going to overcome these issues is not, you know, from a higher level, you know, implementing programs, you know, layering on top of the problems to just mask what the issues are, but really, you know, from the grassroots level, you know, it, helping with supporting, you know, education and projects and pro, you know project management and programs which are going to have the most significant impact on our community. And lastly, in the area of art and creative creative expression, the things that I care about most right now are developing uh, my musical abilities, uh, both instrumental and vocally. Uh, as well as continuing to develop my skills as a and, and productivity as a creative writer and a photographer. Uh, so this, uh, the things that I can do to the things that I could do to reflect this is to play the piano more, sing more, share you know share my art with others, write. Um, take pictures, create videos and audio and um, photographic uh, and photo photographs and uh, like memes and sh other shareable content. Um, this, you know, in my childhood, this was in, this was important to me, but it was also something that was not of high value to the people in my family. And so it was somewhat, somewhat punished. So I, you know, I kind of put that part of myself to the side and didn't, you know, didn't explore it more, didn't work on it because really, honestly, any time that I attempted to um, show those parts of myself or work on those parts of myself, the things that I really wanted to do that typically led to a kind of a, demeaning or ridiculing response from you know the the people who I cared or who I you know valued their opinion at the time um and so I didn't you know I those behaviors in myself were punished and you know I uh, suppressed them in myself um it, but I have seen this I have seen others demonstrate this skill um, or demonstrate this value area. And, you know, it shows in their, you know, their, um, you know, dedicating time on a daily basis or on a weekly basis to honing their craft. They're creating content and they're sharing it and they're putting themselves out there in a fearless way. And, you know, this idea that I have had of myself where I have to be like, you know, it, unless it's absolutely 100% perfect and there's zero flaws, it's not worth sharing. Um, but being able to see other people's products that they're putting out there that I, you know, still value, you know, there's still things that aren't perfect about them, but, you know, that in and of itself is perfect because it's just a, you know, in this moment, the per a person sharing a piece of them with the world and, you know, trying to have a positive impact on the world. And so those are things that, you know, I want to embody as a person um, and be able to share, um, to share my story in a way that is going to be meaningful to others um, and have an impact. So being able to use my, um, my music and my dancing and my writing and photography to um, to send a message, to share my story, to inspire others, and to help others, you know, establish and build a you know build confidence within themselves to take action in their own lives. Um, I this is this is a value area that I have frequently violated because. I, you know, because of all the excuses that will not come to a surprise to any, comes as a surprise to anybody. Um, you know, 
I don't have time. It's, you know, there's no point in it. I've got to focus on, you know, things that are going to generate money. This isn't, you know, who really cares about, you know, whether or not I can play the piano or I can sing or I can dance or I can do any of those things. They don't really matter. What really matters is this other thing that is my career and um, revenue generation. Um, and so I now know that, you know, that was very, just, you know, very backwards way to approach life, um, which is why, you know, throughout my, uh, throughout my life and existence, I am now really wanting to invest my time in creating content that is uh, meaningful, that tells my story, it is meaningful and it's shareable and it has some impact on others just by the nature of the um, content and that I'm putting myself out there and maybe even inspiring other people to take a chance and, you know, stand up and do something um, out of the ordinary or out of the box uh, because it, because it matters and because it's fun. Um, and we all need a little fun in our lives every once in a while. Okay.